In this work, our goal is to build a universal detector for CNN-generated images. We want a detector that not only works on networks that it was directly trained on, but also generalizes to future unseen networks. We've been seeing lots of exciting ways to manipulate images with CNNs, but this leads to a dilemma. As such methods get better, it becomes easier and easier for people to maliciously make fake images. For example, just in these proceedings, we have methods to swap faces, change attributes, or even generate completely new faces. Besides generating fake faces, CNN can also be used for a lot of other image synthesis tasks. Here, we collected a dataset of CNN-generated images across a number of different methods. The dataset includes state-of-the-art GANs that generate various objects or transfer image domains and styles, image translation models that are trained only with perceptual loss, CNN-based models for low-level vision tasks including super-resolution and low-light imaging, and finally deepfakes. We study whether it is possible to have a universal detector that generalizes to all CNN-based image synthesis networks. Notice that the methods we collected have vastly different architectures, datasets, and objectives. Similarly, a future model can be drastically different from the current ones, and these domain gaps make generalization difficult. However, is there a generic fingerprint left by CNNs that make them distinguishable from real images? If so, can we train a detector that detects such fingerprints? To study this, we need a good way to evaluate generalization. To achieve the best results, we can imagine that we will want to train a detector on all the available CNN synthesized images and see how it generalizes to future methods that might be published tomorrow. However, we don't have the future model right now. So instead, we intentionally restrict our training set by training a detector on only one of these networks and see how well it generalizes to all others. We choose the progressive GAN method to train on and train a standard ResNet classifier on real and fake images from OSON and PROGAM respectively. This might sound similar to GAN setup, but the difference is, we freeze the generator and train the classifier to convergence. To evaluate how well our detector generalizes, we test our train model on all the other CNN datasets without any retraining or fine-tuning. We report the average precision, since it is a ranking-based score that is not sensitive to the threshold of the real and fake images in the dataset. Here, on the y-axis, we show average precision where the bottom is chance 50%, top is perfect 100%. If we train and test on ProGAN, our model gets 100%. If we try to generalize to others, it's above chance, but the performance is inconsistent. One conclusion might be that this experiment was a failure. However, we tried out several data augmentation to avoid overfitting. During training time, we added random blurs and random JPEG compression some of the time, and evaluated and tested on clean images. By simply doing this, we can improve our classification performance by a good margin. Sometimes augmentation doesn't help though. To detect super resolution, we need to look at high frequencies, so blur augmentation hurts performance. However, the reason for the performance drop on deepfix still remains unclear. Unlike other methods, deepfix is a complicated algorithm with a multi-stage pipeline, and some of those are not performed by CNNs. It will be an interesting next step to identify why this is the case. Despite this, we observe a surprising amount of generalization across architectures. In fact, we had the chance to test our future model hypothesis. As StyleGAN 2 was recently released, we have tested our detector on it and found that our model generalizes well to this new model with 99% average precision. Our work suggests that CNN-generated images have underlying common artifacts and they can be exploited by a simple classifier. The only tricks for making it work well are a large-scale training dataset, appropriate data augmentations, and long training time. However, this does not mean that the problem is solved. From the results we have on deepfakes, we know it remains challenging to detect manipulations where CNN is only just one part of a bigger system. And future architectural changes in generated models might buck this trend, as will adversarial attacks. Please visit our project webpage. Thank you very much for your attention.